Okay, hi. My name is Dr. Ling Shigam. I'm a consultant pediatrician at Thompson Hospital, Kota Damansara. Okay, in the midst of our COVID-19 outbreak, I'd like, I'd like to share with you uh, some suggestions how we can strengthen our immune system. Uh, as doctors, we are more stringent as to regard to what we share with you. We only share with you evidence-based uh, concepts that have been proven through sound research to be effective. We will not share what some other people may say to be effective. Just because some Adam, Mutu or Akao say it is effective, it doesn't mean it is so. There could be another hundred other people who use the same measure but found it to be ineffective but not reported. There are also many of, of my patients who ask me, Doctor, is there any product, herb, medicine or supplement that can boost my immune system? Well, in one word, none. I repeat, none. There's no medicine, herb or supplement that has been proven to be effective. There's no such magic bullet that can help us. Okay, that's it. I would like to suggest to all of you five ways we can boost or improve our immune system. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, number one, adequate sleep. Uh, for a normal adult, should require about seven to eight hours of sleep. If you are from the elderly side, you may require slightly less. Whereas for children, they may require a little bit more. You know you have adequate sleep if you feel fresh the whole day without feeling tired or sleepy. I also teach in the university and some of my students, their hobby is sleeping. Well, does sleeping more than what you need boost our immune system even more? Well, the answer is no. Sleeping more is just a waste of time. Okay, number two, exercise. Uh, it is recommended that we exercise for half an hour five days in a week. Of course, if you can do every day, it's even better. Okay, how intense? Well, intense enough for us to be sweating away. Yeah, of course, um, there will be some of us who may not be able to cope with the normal kind of exercise. We may not be used to it. Uh, so, any exercise will do. Something is better than nothing. At the very least, get your body moving. Uh, there has been people, especially the elderly, uh, who always lie on the couch or sit down, these people are more prone to getting lung infection, what we call orthostatic pneumonia. Okay, number three, eat well. Okay, Micronutrients in food are crucial because they provide you the necessary nutrients to build our immune system well. Deficiency in these micronutrients will cause our immune system not to be functioning normally. So we can need the vitamins A, C and E together with minerals, folate, zinc and selenium in our diet. We can get all these through fruits and vegetables of various colours as well as legumes as well as whole grains. Um, nowadays, we want to recommend that we take half of our, when we take a meal, half of the plate consists of fruit and vegetables. If you are not aware, current dietary recommendations have shifted from that of a food pyramid to that of a healthy eating plate. Some people may not like fruit and vegetables or you cannot, or not able to take fruit and vegetables. Then I suggest you take uh, supplements in multivitamins as well as minerals. Of course, these supplements, uh, the availability of the nutrients may not be as good as if you take it directly from natural foods. Okay, point number four, reduce stress. Okay, so now when you are under stress, you release a hormone called cortisol that is not only responsible for diabetes, high blood pressure and obesity, but also can impair your immune system. So, so during this uh, MCO, some of us are just get stressed out being cooked at home. Some may have pay cuts or lose your job or even your business is failing. This is indeed very stressful times. However, don't sweat the small stuff. Choose to be happy, choose to count your blessings. Spend time at home laughing and playing with your family. Choose to reduce stress. Okay, number five, vaccination. Okay, currently uh, steps are underway to find a vaccine against the coronavirus. Okay, some say it could be as soon as September, up, some say up to 18 months. I'm a bit skeptical because there are many obstacles as to regard to producing this vaccine, with regard to the safety of the vaccine. If we, if we know about the corona, what coronavirus, it causes damage not by the direct effect of the virus, but by 
its effect on our immune system where it causes an exaggerated response from our immune system. We call it a cytokine storm. When this happens, the immune system causes mediators to be released that cause inflammation to the body, causing damage to the kidney, liver, as well as lungs. Will this new vaccine that has been produced, when given, cause the same kind of reaction as well from our immune system? And that remains to be seen. So for the elderly, as well as those who are immunocompromised, such as those diabetics, those with heart, lung or kidney problems, to keep them safe, we must stay away from them. Uh, especially so for, for those people who are frontliners, like me, or those who are working with me, still working and meeting with people, we are more prone to getting infected unknowingly and then transmitting infections to our loved ones who are elderly. So therefore, if we love our parents and grandparents, stay away from them. If we love them, we should not balik kampung to celebrate Raya with them. Try to limit contact with them. That way, we will not pass infection to them. It is really painful to say so, but that's the best thing to do. Even for me, I have to stay away from my elderly mother for the past six weeks now. So in conclusion, I'd like to encourage all of us to strengthen our immune system by eating and sleeping well, as well as do more physical exercise, laugh and play more. This all will enhance our immune system in our fight against COVID-19. Together, we can defeat this virus.